All right, in this video, we're gonna enhance our player camera. Right now, it's a stagnant camera, and I'll show you what I mean. So if we go ahead and run um, our, our current project, as it were in the last video, you'll see that the player object moves around and the camera stays static. So obviously, in a third-person game, we want the camera to follow behind the the third uh, or the player and also basic things like orbiting features, zooming features and such like that. We're actually going to use an external crate for this. Um, it's a crate that I actually created uh, very recently so it's the first version of it but I think it works well for what it is and it's very simple to use so we're going to go ahead and create that. Also I just realized I left the player at speed 5 so I'm going to change that down to 2.5. Okay, so with cargo, we're going to add bevy third person camera. Uh, and then let's go ahead and run a cargo build just because we added a new crate. It's just what I always like to do. And then we need to import this new crate. So bevy third person camera. And then we need to add the plugin here to our existing plugins. Third person camera. Oh wait, plugin. Okay, there we go. And then we need to go over to our camera system here, our spawn camera system. And we need to add a component here as well from the bevy third person camera crate. So we're gonna import the component that we need, bevy third person camera actually we'll just do all to make it easier uh, and then this also since we're adding a new component to this camera entity we need to wrap it in a tuple since there's multiple values and this will be the bevy or no third person camera component uh, is that what it's called Oh, I need to add the default features here. So default. I wrote it myself and I still don't know how to use it. <laughs> uh, okay, so over to the player file now. And in the player file here, we need to add a target. So essentially the target that the camera needs to follow. Use bevy third person camera all and then go down to the spawn player system and then right here third person camera target just like that and that's it so we're going to go ahead and run our project now and we should have a nice third person camera that has some basic features to it so you'll see that there is an orbiting function here and it's moving around and following the player object, which is great. It also zooms in and zooms out, and there's a, a default zoom bounds here, and I'll show you how to change that in a second. But this is exactly what we want. So if you hit space, it'll essentially stop the orbiting feature and unlock the cursor so that you can go ahead and, and hit exit or do whatever you need, and you just hit uh, space bar for that. But it looks like my mouse highlighter still picks it up. Um, even if it's in a locked state, but you shouldn't see that. So to unlock it, you hit space and then you go ahead and exit out. And you can also change that. You can disable that feature completely. Uh, if you go ahead and look on the documentation, um, I just figured it'd be a nice to have to, to have inside of this. Okay. So we have a great little third person camera set up now. And if we go over to our camera, third person camera component here, Let's look at some of these uh, some of these default components. I'm not sure why I'm not getting any any um, intellisense. So I'm gonna pull this up on GitHub real quick for reference. Okay, so some of the basic features. Let's fill that in with default. Uh, is mouse sensitivity 
The default is two, but I could add it to five. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. Yep, so now you can see it's going crazy. Get rid of that. Um, there's also the zoom bounds, and this is a tuple that goes just like so. And there's other things like uh, you can adjust the cursor lock feature like I was telling you about. There's also, this also has full gamepad support. So anything that's supported with uh, keyboard and mouse is also supported with gamepad. But uh, except for the cursor lock functionality, I left that strictly for keyboard and mouse. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to play around with it. Give me any feedback that you have on it. I hope it works well and I'll see you in the next video.